Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're chasing the mantle uh, here in 2021 Bowman Baseball six box half case random team break number one. Looks like no combos, right? No paper ships, all 30 spots, all 30 teams are in. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Second half already in the store. There's all 30 teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams four and a three, seven times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Got Derek down to Adam. Four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Got Cleveland down to Philadelphia after seven. Of course, we'll do a different dice roll for the giveaway part at the end of the break. Derek with the Guardians, Todd with the Blue Jays, uh, Adam Copperman with the Brew Crew, Adam Kelly with Twins and A's, Victor with the Reds, Tristan, the Padres, Red Sox, Dodgers, Adam Kelly with the Angels, Adam Copperman with the Marlins, Adam Kelly with the Tigers and Orioles, two AKs in this break. Tristan with the Cubs, Patrick with the Yankees, Adam Kelly with the Cardinals, Eugene, Mets and Braves, Braves, last spot mojo. Tristan, Rockies, Diamondbacks, Adam Kelly with the Rangers, Victor with the Astros, Tristan with the Royals, Pirates, Mariners, Nationals, Adam Kelly with the Giants, Tristan with the Rays, Adam Kupperman with the White Sox, Adam Kelly with the Philadelphia Phillies. Let's alphabetize by team here. And we're gonna pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around, be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so TWC. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Second half is already halfway there. So if you wanna fit it into the schedule tonight, let's make that happen. Thanks everybody. Now let's, uh, this is 2021 Bowman Hobby. Yes, that's the break we're doing. Let's uh, pop this case open and let's see which six we're going to do. All right, we, go, we got six on the left side, six on the right side. We'll roll the die, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's two, left side. We'll save these for a little bit later tonight. All right, a little blast from the past. 2021, we've got Casey Mize, Heston Kirkstad on the box. Looking for one autograph per box. And maybe there'll be some, some Bowman firsts in here where we'll be like, oh yeah, we didn't even consider that player back in 2021. But here in 2024, that player turned out to be, you know, a player we want to chase. Thanks everyone for getting in. What are you doing? 2021 Bowman Baseball Hobby Edition. Wow. We got Heston Kirk's out on the box. We got Casey Mize on the box. So who got the uh, official first spot in the mantle? Oh, the mantle chase promo, Jason. Jason Kirsch. Wow. Uh, the tier one break kicks things off for us. Is there anything nice out of the tier one? Uh, Max Muncy autograph, Will Smith autograph. Bang! No Max Christie autographs. TP, what's going on? You just noticed this is this is 2021. Yes, correct. Correct. Here's that list once again. So think about your 2021 prospect draft class. I think Casey Mize was number one overall. I think he looked good in the minors. I feel like had a weird, did not, didn't really have a great rookie season. He was on his way to having a good second year. Then arm injury. I 
think went down with the Tommy John and ended up uh, on the shelf for over a calendar year and is uh, is now pitching this year but somewhat somewhat inconsistent he's kind of I don't think we can we might just be getting his getting back into the swing of things this year but hopefully next year Yeah, yeah. I think I think Namalo is probably. Did he get drafted out of high school? Yeah, he would have been 14 years old, 13 or 14 years old, uh, when this product came out. He would have been a whatever high school he went to in Florida. All right. And away we go. So no paper ships, but obviously, if it's numbered, it will. 21 out of 25, Jose Altuve, color match, Victor. There's Asa Lacy. And obviously, uh, no, actually, those Bowman first will not ship. I think just no paper at all. That'll be, make it a lot easier for our shipping team, yeah. But all the chrome will ship. Jeremy Payne is not a Bowman first. There's an Austin Martin Bowman first. I don't know what his stock is right now. I think he was one of the bigger names back in 2021. Uh, this will go to you, Todd. TP with the Blue Jays. Um, ended up on this guy's team, ended up on the Twins. It was Anthony Volpe, nice, to 499. Patrick with the Yankees, he's playing well. And our auto is Marcus Smith, 13 out of 25, Orange Shimmer. Rangers, that'll be for Adam Kelly. And then we've got a Mackenzie Gore to 199. That's for the Padres, that'll go to Tristan. There's our first auto. We'll do a quick auto recap at the end of the break. All right, next box. Box two of six. At the end, we'll randomize everybody's names and we'll see who's going to win uh, another Chase the Mantle spot. Not too much baseball on today. I guess, uh, yeah, Monday, travel day for a lot of teams. But Orioles are in Tampa Bay. They're up 4-2. The bottom, top of the six. Bottom of the third, Rockies in Minnesota, scoreless. Yankees at Royals just started. 
The Yankees already have a couple hits in the top of the uh, first. <coughs> Excuse me. Top of the first, uh, Blue Jays at Brewers. Excuse me, losing my voice already. Too early in the week for that. Uh, Blue Jays at Brewers are scoreless. Uh, upcoming, we got a few games still yet to start. We're starting about an hour and a half or so. Um, White Sox are in Seattle. The A's are in San Diego. And the Giants are hosting the Astros. Everyone see uh, Buster Only Twitter account or X account got hacked today? Um, I think it is. Uh, it looks like looks like the problem has been solved. All the uh, all those uh, fake tweets are now gone. But um, it had uh, Buster only had it, it. It fooled our uh, local LA sports talk radio for like for a segment for like 10, 15 minutes. They, the bus were only had Francisco Lindor being traded from the Mets to the A's. And they were talking about, oh, what something must have happened in, in London to, to have this sudden trade, blah, blah, blah. What did Lindor do? And they, then they went to commercial, came back and they're like, you know what? Bus were only sure account was hacked. They had Otani with a lifetime ban. They had uh, Luis Robert going to Philadelphia. Like the initial tweets were kind of somewhat legitimate, and then it started going off the rails. The the person who hacked the account was like pushing pushing like you know altcoins and stuff. <laughs> it was actually kind of funny. Um, it wasn't it wasn't as mean spirited as it as it as it could have been. So I I think whoever hacked the account was definitely having a little fun with it. In sort of a sort of a lighthearted way. But it was uh, the I think the the funny thing was to me was was that the was that the uh, the hack lasted a long time. Like hours. Usually when, when people get hacked, they find out within the first couple posts, they, then, they, then they have the, the account locked, password changed, tweets deleted within like, within an hour or two. But I think this lasted for like four or five hours. There's Justin Foscu to 75, yellow mini diamonds for the Rangers. Who knows, Buster only could have been on a plane, he travels a lot. So who knows? Bobby Witt, yeah, Bobby Witt is not, not as bone first. Oh, nice. Alec Bohm autograph, rookie auto. 13 out of 30. Former Rookie of the Year, playing well this year. Adam Kelly with the Phillies. Nice. If you have any Helio Ramos is laying around, he's been on fire. He's been playing some good baseball. There's Ryan Vallad, Atomic, not numbered, but it'll ship. I think those are one per box, maybe. Freudis Nova, paper to 299, that will ship. Sometimes when the, when those uh, when those accounts get hacked, 
It's always fun to see who actually falls for it. Carlos Rodon having a nice season. 6 0, 2 4 8 ERA. Six quality starts. Six straight wins for the first time in his career. All right, and TP also said hockey just starting. Maybe, uh, my Dodgers aren't playing today. Maybe I'll take in a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of the Stanley Cup final instead of a early June Monday baseball game. So I think Florida's up, right? Yeah, they, they beat the Oilers in game one. So they lead the series 1-0. There's only game two. Let's go, Oilers. Let's see if they can make a series out of this. I have no dog in this fight, though. Suppose I'd go with the Oilers, at least to say, at the very least to say, uh, you know, the team that knocked out the LA Kings out of the playoffs was the team that went on to win the Stanley Cup. All right. Go. Let's keep. Paper doesn't ship. Paper, paper, paper. These are all the same teams. That's true, and they have ice where they live. Where they can actually play outdoor ice hockey. And this is a nice one, Robert Hassel. 286 out of 499, refractor autograph, Padres edition. This is going to go to Tristan. I think he was part of the big uh, Juan Soto trade, maybe? I think he's, he might be in Washington right now, if I remember correctly. And there's Jordan Walker, paper to 499. Ah, TP's a jaded Bruins fan. That was, that was a rough one. Where are the Panthers? They're n not in Tampa Bay. That's where the Lightning are. Not in Miami? Not in Orlando. Are they in Miami? Jeremy De La Rosa to 125. Paper, 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 paper. Are they Orlando? Yeah, I honestly don't know. Oh, maybe they're in Jacksonville. That sounds right. Not a lot of hockey fans in the chat to correct us.
All right, halfway through this half case break. Another three boxes to go. I guess I'll leave these hits back over here. Victor says it's Miami. Oh, they are in Miami. Not in Jacksonville. They play in Sunrise. So is it safe to assume they, they don't play where the Heat play? They play some in Sunrise. So I think the Heat Arena is actually in like downtown Miami. This Connor McDavid winning some games here, winning a Stanley Cup would be good for the hobby. I feel like his stuff is already valued pretty high. I'm not sure what a Stanley Cup will give him. Maybe a decent boost. Emerit Arena. What, what what is what is that? What do you think? Is it a? It sounds like a. Emerit sounds like a bank, a regional bank. Oh, a Mar it's a Marant Bank Arena is, is what it is. So it is a bank. I think someone looks at that and goes, you know what? I'm going to start banking with the Marant. The official bank of, of the Florida Panthers. Yeah, TP agrees. He's like, hey, I don't care about the Oilers, but McDavid has been the face of the league. Yeah, him and Drysaw are pretty good. So, yeah, if they get it, that'd be... We're rooting for the hobby here. Paper, paper, Oracles, and this guy, this guy needs to, this guy needs to shape up a little bit, figure some things out in the minors and come back strong. Reed Detmers to 299 speckle, yeah. And yeah, maybe the bank banks like they're really into hockey. They're like, you know what? Someday I aspire to put the name of my bank on a hockey arena. Oh, and there's our autograph. That's. Brainer Bonacci. Bonacci? I feel like there'd be two C's if it was that. Not sure. From Venezuela, so. Bonacci, maybe? Instead of the 2C Italian sort of pronunciation?
All right, two boxes to go. Almost there. Yeah, I feel like we have passed by some Blaze Jordan cards. We, we got to see the back of the card. Do you think Blaze is his given name? That's his first name? Or is it a nickname? Because it'd be pretty bold if you're, if you're a, a parent and you're like, hey, we're going to name this kid Blaze because... You know, you're only going one of two ways. The path for your child is going to go one of two ways. You either are going to be super fast, you better be super fast, or you're like a world class stoner. One, it's one or the other. It's gotta be a given nickname. There's no way. I mean, unless maybe the parent, if if the parents were like world-class sprinters or something like that, or both, yeah, it could be both. If they're world-class sprinters, you know, maybe they're pretty confident that the genetics would work out, and that's possible. Another box. There's Blaze Jordan. Uh, no, it doesn't give. No, no additional information there. There's Jason Rosario, 53 out of 125 Aqua Shimmer for Tristan and the Red Sox. You'll get all those blazes as well, Tristan. Back of the baseball card didn't really blaze for, yeah. What's Blaze for? For Blazeford. Sounds like real, like, New England Country Club kind of name. Yacht Club, maybe, something like that. Some sort of Eastern Seaboard Yacht Club. Lofton to 399 green paper which will be for the Royals that's going to go to Tristan you scratched my yeah you scratched my boat Blazeford what are you doing and there's Luis Santana Bowman first autograph for the Astros. That's going to be for Victor. Ishmael Mena, by the way, refractor for the Padres. All right, sixth and final box.
And the next, uh, second half of this case is already down at 10. Gosh, I haven't seen Caddyshack in a million years. Uh, second half of the case is down at 10, and we are running out of time, believe it or not. So we've got a lot of breaks lined up. Check the break schedule that's pinned in the chat. But if you want to get that locked in tonight, uh, sell that out as quickly as possible. Conversely, we got breaks like Immaculate Baseball, breaks five and six down to four. Those are much shorter breaks. Try to get those locked in before another 45 minute break gobbles up a lot of our time. There's a good chance that there's gonna be a break or two that may have to be pushed to tomorrow at the rate orders are coming in. But I'll go through orders again after I put this break to bed and then we'll Let's see uh, what kind of time we have. I think we're halfway through the first period. Edmonton has zero shots. Florida only. Florida has six. Take a shot, Oilers. Come on. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Uh-oh. Florida guy on the ground. We got a little scuffle here. Dude, what happened? I missed that play. It's like knee on knee, I think. Leg on leg. Doesn't look good. Oh, he's up, he's up. He's all right. Is that a redemption coming up here? It is, and it's some orange. It's Francisco Alvarez, nice. Positional promise, autograph, orange refractor parallel. It is expired, but late Tops has been pretty good lately about honoring these expired redemptions. So Mets, Eugene, still send that off to you. either honoring it or doing something for you in return, but but I think, I think they tweeted out recently that that like as of like a year ago, they were, they, I think it was like a crazy number. It was like they had over like 10,000 outstanding redemption requests that were like just not addressed, either unfulfilled or not addressed. And I think they've been working pretty hard at it, especially since Fanatics took over. And I think they're down to like a thousand or something like that. It was something crazy like that. It was like a huge number and it was cut down big time. So we're working at it. Buster Posey to 299. Is for Adam Kelly and the Giants. Let's see that paper. Zach Veen, purple, purple paper, to 250. A little color match for the Rocks. That's going to be for Tristan. Purple Mountains Majesty above the the fruited plain. We've got another color match here, Ryan Vallad, 250. Purple Chrome this time. Yep, and a blue Anthony Santander, blue paper to 150 for the O's. That'll be for Adam Kelly. 
Any other parallels to close things out here? No. Not a bad break though. This is a chase the mantle break. So let's see who gets the next entry into our massive promo. We're giving away a graded 1952 Mickey Mantle card. Pretty crazy. And $3,000 of travel credit so you can come pick it up here in Hermosa Beach. You know, a little, little vacay for you included. All right. Let's gather everybody's names, one through 30, new dice, new list, just one winner, one entry. After three and a three, six, name on top. After three and a three, six the hard way, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and fingers crossed, sixth and final time. A lot of sad faces here, but remember, we gotta do uh, 200 breaks. So I hope you keep trying. Thanks everybody. Um, two through 30 sad times. But happy times for Tristan. Congrats to you. You've got an entry uh, into our big Chase the Mantle promo. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, before I go, quick little auto recap. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.